And then, but only then, he died. With Schiller, it wasn't just a question of dying. He couldn't live without champagne. Do you know how he wrote? He put his feet in ice cold water, took a glass of champagne and wrote. He downed one glass and the first act was finished. Five glasses later, he had a whole tragedy in five acts. And by the way, the social democrats, ticket inspector, the call resounded throughout the carriage, exploding in my ear. It's not as if anyone on the Petrushki line is afraid of the ticket inspector. No one has a ticket. It's only the pervert to actually go and buy a ticket who feel uncomfortable at the sight of the ticket inspector. When he shows his ticket, the pervert doesn't look straight at anybody. Not at the inspector, not at the other passengers. He just wants the ground to swallow him up. Chief Inspector Semyonovich abolished all fines and reservations and instead he just demanded one gram of vodka per kilometer from those who had no ticket. Everywhere else in Russia you have to pay inspectors a kopeck per kilometer. That is nearly twice as much as Semyonovich charged. So for example, someone traveling from Chuklinka to Usad, a distance of 90 kilometers, would give Semyonovich 90 grams of vodka. Then he was free to travel in peace, spread out all over the seat like a traveling salesman. Semyonovich's reform strengthened the links between the inspector and the masses. They made the link cheaper, simpler, and more humane. Сколько стоит производство одного литра водки? Один декалитр, если выработки мы пересчитываем все на спирт, то если нам выпустить один декалитр, менее да, да. да. рубля обходится. В магазине стоит? В магазине дороже, намного дороже. У нас стоит литр водки 20 рублей. Он чувствует то, что мы перестаем чувствовать. Вот страх перед смертью, перед взрослением, перед переменами. Без этого наркоза, который он имеет, ему трудно жить. Мне не кажется, что он получает от этого какой-то там, как у нас сейчас говорят, кайф. Какой-то там уж очень приподнято радостное настроение. Нет. Просто без этого трудно ему. Не уходи, не уходи. And then everything went hazy. If you were to say that there was a fog, I think I'd agree. It was foggy. But if you were to say that there was no fog, just flames and ice, 
I might agree with that too. There were flames and ice. First my blood ran cold, ever colder until it froze, and then it started boiling, and then it froze again. I held my head tight, trembling and shuddering, and the carriages started trembling and shuddering too. They had been doing that all along, trembling and shuddering. Sunset glowed red, horses tossed their manes. I kept running through the blizzard in the darkness, tearing the doors off their hinges. I knew the Moscow Petushki train was about to be derailed. Were these the spasms I desired of you, O Petushki? Who has slaughtered all your birds and trampled down your jasmine? This is not Pitushki. If he who has left the earth forever and sees everyone and everything, I'm certain he's never looked in this direction. The footsteps behind me were getting nearer, and I didn't have enough breath to run any further. I just staggered to the Kremlin wall and collapsed. They didn't even stop for breath. They leapt at me and started to strangle me with five or six hands at once. I never knew such pain could exist. I writhed in a thick letter Y spread over my eyes, trembling. I lost consciousness. I haven't come round since, and I never shall. Ужасом. Эти дантроники, 
трагедия, или там испанская трагедия, она кончается полным кибелью всех персонажей. А тут все-таки еще остаются живы кое-кто.